I'm Andrew, and I'm setting out to make better videos for diesel enthusiasts. Follow along as I review products, do how-tos, and share my personal trucks here on Just Diesels. Any of you guys have been following me for a long time know that I have been looking for a second gen for forever. I've been trying to complete the 123 trilogy of uh, Cummins trucks, and I managed to find one. Um, this truck is literally museum quality. I have no idea how I stumbled on it, but I managed to find it. So let me, actually, hang on. Let me just show you the truck, because that's actually what you want to see. So you may recognize this thing from the OBS vs. Second Gen shootout video. Now in that video, the truck actually belonged to my good friend, um, but let me tell you how all that worked out. So initially, he and I were both looking for second gens on Craigslist, and we would always send each other links back and forth. And he sent me the link to this truck uh, right before I could send it to him. So we decided that that made it his, and so he went to go and buy it. Um, unfortunately, well not unfortunately, but his wife was pregnant with a child and so she forbid him from actually going on the trip to go get it. So I went and picked it up for him. I got to meet the original owner, um, bought the truck for him, brought it back, and three months later he still had not driven it because his wife had given birth. So he ended up deciding that uh, it was a little bit too much for him to take on kind of like a you know older truck project while just having a brand new baby and so he sold the truck to me. So let me show you guys around this truck. I'll show you guys why it is so special. So this is a 99. So it's got the 24 valve Cummins in it. VE pump. Um, so right now the truck actually has EGT boost fuel pressure gauges on it. Um, if you have a 99 or a 24 valve, you know fuel pressure is really important. This truck also has a fast lift pump on the block. Uh, puts out about 20 PSI, you know, general driving around. So that gets rid of your problems with the lift pump failure on these trucks. Um, everything else in this truck is going to be pretty much original. Um, you know, everything on here is, uh, yeah, pretty much untouched. So we're going to be going through this truck. I've already detailed it. Um, it was very, very clean because it was garage kept, but I've already detailed it, gone through, cleaned everything up to make it look really nice for the video. Uh, let me show you guys the inside of this truck. So the inside of this truck uh, is all original cloth interior. Um, this isn't the leather Laramie, but that's all right. I'll, I'll deal with it. It's got the suicide back door, a uh, small back seat for any midget friends you have. Unfortunately, this truck is an automatic, um, but at least it's four wheel drive uh, and it's in really, really good shape. The dashboard is uncracked. Uh, it's got a dash cover on it, but it, since it's garage kept, um, absolutely uncracked dash. Everything on the interior is perfect. No tears in the seats, no anything. I mean, like literally, it doesn't even look like the passenger seat's been sat in. The rear seats don't look like they've ever been used. Um, the condition on this truck is just mind blowing to me. I've never, I've never seen a second gen like this. So the other thing that makes this truck ridiculously cool is how clean the underside of this truck is. So under this truck, um, it is literally, as you see it now, I've detailed it just like I showed in my undercarriage detailing video. Um, aside from that, this is all original. Uh, everything on this truck is completely and totally original. So it's not been repainted, it has not been restored. This is original frame paint on this truck. Um, when I saw the truck, I actually asked the owner if he'd ever driven it in the rain before, and he said no. So this truck has never even been driven in the rain, um, which just blew my mind. I can't imagine having a truck for that long and never driving in the rain with it, but it's that clean. So every frame sticker is still there, all the paper frame tags axle tags, all that stuff from the factory are still intact on this truck. Again, something I've never seen before, ever. Um, so that was so cool and I couldn't wait when I got this truck home to go into the bottom of it, detail it, get it all looking absolutely perfect because I've just never seen a truck that looked this clean underneath. And I think watching this video footage, you guys will probably agree, um, I've never seen a second gen that looks like this. So very, very, very cool on this truck.
Second gens have always kind of held a special place in my heart. There's a lot of cool diesel trucks out there, but I think none have been as influential as the second gen. If you look at second gens, that body style and that body style change they made in 1994 truly changed kind of the course of how trucks were developed and styled after that. It really was one of the first non-square uh, body, if you want to call it that, trucks. This one was kind of designed to have the mimic fenders of a big rig and kind of bring some of that big rig styling into the diesel truck market and it truly revolutionized the way that consumer grade HD pickup trucks were built and looked at by manufacturers. And I think that's why these trucks are so cool. So yes, I love second gens. I think they're one of the coolest looking body styles, but really, Aside from all the fun stuff that makes second gen second gens, the reason why I've always been so excited to own one of these trucks is because they're such an important piece of truck history. And I feel like there's a lot of automotive history buffs out there, right? That talk about automotive history and blah, blah, blah. But when you really think about it and you look at truck history and particularly diesel truck history in the United States, there are very few trucks as influential and timeless as the second gen. Now, I remember growing up in the 90s, seeing these trucks driving around and thinking how cool they were back then. And I wish I could have bought one back in 99 or 98 new, but this is finally my chance and kind of as close as I'm gonna get. So this truck really is about as clean and original and really like as close to a new truck as it gets. And if you guys know me, you know I'm OCD. And so having a truck this nice, clean and cared for probably couldn't have fallen in any better hands. Now, when I bought this truck, the original owner told me kind of the story of everything. So he bought this truck new in 1999. He actually used it um, partially for business. And then uh, after a couple of years of leasing it from his company, ended up buying it outright from them uh, and having it as his own personal truck. So he drove it daily uh, for those first couple of years. He told me that's where the majority of the miles came from. About, you know, 40 something thousand of the miles came from just daily driving initially. And then after that, he just kept it in his garage. So this thing has been garage stored since day one in his garage. Uh, absolutely perfect condition. Uh, he's done an amazing job of maintaining this truck, keeping it nice, keeping it clean. Uh, I'm just blown away. I mean, there's like two scratches on the entire truck. Uh, all the little stamps on the leaf springs are still there. I mean, literally the, the rear drums on the brakes aren't rusted. I've never seen that before. They still have the factory coating. The manifold still has the factory coating on it. It still has that like that black dark coating on it. I've never seen anything like that before. Um, this truck is just in like museum condition essentially. So. I'm gonna be doing everything I can to preserve that moving forward. The original owner loved this truck to death and actually never planned to sell it, but his wife hated the truck. She thought it was loud, bumpy, obnoxious, and finally, after 20 something years, wore him down and got him to sell the truck. And he was absolutely devastated to let go of it. So when he handed me the title and the keys, I literally saw him have a tear roll down his face, which is funny, because he's one of those tough old guys that doesn't cry. Um, but he asked me to take care of this thing, so. Kind of like the story of the, the first gen that I have. Um, I got to meet the owner, it was a really passionate person. Kind of got to pass it on to someone else that's really passionate about these trucks. So that was really exciting. Uh, and I'm definitely excited to kind of, you know, go through with this truck and keep it as nice as I possibly can while making some improvements. Now, my buddy had started to make a couple upgrades. He actually leveled the truck, uh, did a few little things up front to kind of improve steering and whatnot. Um, I'm gonna be taking that a step farther. We're gonna be doing new steering stabilizer, shocks, a um, bunch of upgrades on the suspension on these trucks. That's what's cool about the second gens is you can do a lot with the suspension. I'm also gonna be adding gauges to it as well so I can keep track of everything, probably a tune or something mild like that. Uh, and then we'll go from there. So I'm excited to have you guys follow along. The other thing we'll be doing in this truck is doing full detail videos. So first things first, uh, I already did the frame, the engine base. If you guys wanna watch videos of how I did that, we'll link those down below. Um, but I'm also gonna be doing like a ceramic coating on this truck, full interior detail. Um, essentially everything I did in that first gen detailing video, I'm gonna be doing this truck to get it fully caught up to absolutely perfect. The other thing we're gonna be doing is a full fluids refresh on this truck. So even though the owner took really good care of it, it sat a lot, it's ready for all new fluids front to back. So thanks to Adrian, AKA Diesel Oil Guy on Instagram. Uh, he hooked me up with a bunch of awesome Amsoil stuff. If you guys need anything Amsoil, he is the go-to, mention my name and he will happily hook you guys up with a discount. So we're gonna be doing an entire fluids refresh on this truck 
and then uh, going from there. So I'm excited to show you guys the progress in this build. I finally have the one, two, three Cummins trifecta um, and I'm excited to be moving forward with this truck. So we're also gonna be doing some shootout videos. I've lined up a 99 Power Stroke for all you Power Stroke guys so we can do a true 99 to 99 video. Um, and yeah, I'm really excited. So please let me know if there's something you guys wanna see on this truck, a shootout video, anything else. Uh, I'm really excited to finally, finally have a second gen. So thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next video.